Hey, if you're a creative person, whether you design websites or just do graphical magical wizardry, you're going to know about this website, fonts.google.com. You know about it. Of course you do. It's a great place to find out your fonts. Now, one really cool feature of this website used to be you'd go in, you do a search for a font. Let's go for Lato or Lato, however you want to pronounce it. I pick it and I would now get to see the different styles, italics, the weightings galore. But what was really cool about this was when you scroll down to the bottom, don't forget you can download the family and import it into your website. But when you got to the bottom, you were then told about the ideal pairings for this. So for Lato, it might say Roboto or whatever, okay? And it would give you some indication and it would allow you to look at five different pairings, click them and see what they look like. So you now know, okay, this is my headline and I might use this for something else like the body or text, whatever. That feature is now no longer on the fonts.google.com. I'm annoyed. I know other people are annoyed because now we have to sit there and search, search and think about what we're going to do. If you traditionally always use Lato, Montserrat, Roboto and stuff like that, you'll have an idea of what the pairings are. But what if you're using something and you have no clue? What do you do? Well, there are websites out there. Most of them are trash. They're ugly. The links don't work. There's sponsorship adverts galore. They just don't give you anything. But here's a site I definitely recommend. It's called fontjoy.com. By the way, you can do uh, the light version or the dark version. Okay, I'm just showing you the different versions there. What is really cool about this website is it's free, number one. Number two, you can pick your font and it's then gonna tell you what is the ideal subheader and the body text font. Let's, let's just have a look at it in action. Now then, what I do want to mention before I show you how it works, if you do click any one of these, it's just going to take you to the Google's website, the Google's website, the font.google.com, okay? So you can now go and download the family, so you can still do that. I'm going to click generate, and as soon as I do that, it generates a completely new font, which is Nunito Sans, what the subheader will be, Nixie 1, and what the body will be, Quattrocento Sans, if I pronounce that even vaguely correctly. So that's great if you just want it to generate something for you, but what if you don't want that? What if you know the font you want to use? Over here, it says catamaran. I'm going to click the like the filtery kind of buttons over there. And instead of catamaran, I'm going to type mont mob. I'm going to type Montserrat. And what it will now start to do is list the different styling. I'm going to go for this one here, Montserrat 100, okay? It's now put Montserrat 100 at the top. It's then now telling me what the ideal subheader is. So even though you've gone for a really light header, go for a thicker weight for the subheader. And then we have the body, ekmukta. Ekmukta. Sounds like Klingon language a little bit. Ekmukta. I'm sorry if I've offended anyone, but hey. Um, what if I now want to go to the subheader? And rather than having Montserrat, I'm going to type in, uh, no, we won't go Lato. We'll go with Railway. Okay, we'll go with Railway, and I'm going to pick this waiting over here, Railway 500. I pick it, and it's now said that Montserrat is still okay, Railway's okay, and Ekmukta, they, they work, that's fine. There is a limitation to this, though. I went over here, and I started typing Orbitron. I got Orb, and there was only Corbin there. So some of the fonts are not fully available in here, um, but I know that with Orbitron, Railway and Lato work really well. But what if I want to try something else? So I've typed in number two, because Shadows into Light 2 is one of the ones I sometimes use for quotes. What happens if we pick this one? So if that was my header, Railway is the ideal subheader, and Ekmukta, again, is the ideal font over there. And what's really cool is you can lock it. So now, my, no matter what I do, that will never change. But this is a really cool way of you kind of experimenting. And I'm just going to go down here and I'm going to type in Roboto for my text. And we will go for, we'll go with Roboto 300 there, which is kind of quite standard for everyone. I'm going to lock it. I'm now going to hit generate. And Roboto is locked. But now it will only show me headers and subheaders that kind of go and pair with Roboto. So, Fontjoy.com, for me, is the second next best thing after what we used to have in fontgoogle.com. And if you go, ooh, bubble of one, what is that? You click it, there you go, download the family, and off we go on a nice little walk. Hey, look, um, I hope you like, subscribe, share, and follow. 
I hope you find this useful and I hope this helps you out with your font pairings for Google. Take care and I'll see you soon.